we would like to invite Samantha, teacher Samantha for the yoga session. Thank you, thank you. Um, happy Saturday to everybody. So a uh, quick introduction of myself and thanks. Uh, uh, thank you to Juness Malaysia giving me this great opportunity to have sharing my yoga experience to the, you know, to the person around. So um, I, I am certified yoga instructor uh, from Malaysia, PJ Langho. Um, all my workout routine uh, always combine two things, which is yoga posture together with the simple movement. Because majority people think yoga is very sane, one very boring, just hold the positions there uh, for a few seconds or for, for, for a minute, then they will get bored. So my yoga is a bit excited and uh, uh, very fun because it's combination with the movement. So today is about a full body yoga routine. Uh, it is uh, amazing, not just only stretch, but uh, also uh, strengthen our body. Uh, it will be also help us feel good, you know, happy and relaxed. So this routine will target the overall uh, body, including the arms. Okay, uh, uh, of course, the leg, what to want to, want to uh, you know, uh, shape up the, the thigh. And of course, I more emphasize the core. So this is a great routine if we just want to relax and take some time for ourselves. So without further ado, uh, we, we will start the sections about 40 to 45 minutes including uh, warm up and warm down. So let's start it. For those who don't have yoga mat, it's fine. You can pause it on your bed uh, and grab whatever tools, which is uh, normally yoga is using the block as a support. So if you don't have, it's all right. You just grab the below, whatever below you have just next to you or even the, the sofa below. Okay, so you sit comfortable on the floor, cross leg, whatever leg you feel comfortable. We do some breathe in and breathe out. So yoga normally is breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. When breathe in, you feel your tummy is floated out. And when you exhale, you contract your, um, your tummy and then exhale all the air, all the oxygen from your tummy, which is your tummy getting smaller. So take time, take a deep, deep breath in and breathe out according your your level, okay? So relax your shoulders, relax your hand, whatever, here or here. So from here, just breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Last one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Now from here, now slowly place your two hands beside your body. Okay, just start it from your right. Okay, inhale, raise your right hand up. Your right hand up. So exhale, relax your body to the left side. Feel the stretch on your left. Okay, good. So you can slightly bend your left hand. Now slowly inhale, bring your body back to the center. Relax your right hand down. Now inhale, raise your left hand up, and then lower down your body. Okay, make sure you try to straighten your left hand as much as possible. Chest up, chest facing to the front. Feel the side stretch, and then relax your right shoulders down. Hold here, three, two, one. So inhale gently back to the center. We do two more rounds. Relax your right hand down. Inhale, sorry, left hand down. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, lower down. Make sure open the chest. Don't allow your back. Open the chest. Face it to the front. It's not necessary going down all the way. Just according to your level. Three, two, one. Slowly coming up. Well done. Yes. And switch, inhale, back and up, exhale, lower down. If your level is here, it's fine. 
just feel the spine stretch, okay? Make sure your hands straight. Feel here, okay? Whatever level is fine. Now coming up, inhale, coming up back to the center. Last one more round, inhale. Right hand up, exhale, lower down. Three, two, one. Same thing, inhale up. Exhale, going down to another side. Three, two, one, slowly back to the center. Relax your left hands up. Okay, so from here this time, inhale, lift both hands up to the ceiling, interlace the fingers, and then turn your palm facing up. Okay, try to strengthen your both hands as much as possible according to your level. If you can't, you hold here. You feel the stretching on your inner arm and outer arm. For those who want to challenge, you can strengthen and then try to bring your both arm back to your ear. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Okay, open the chest. By the way, have to relax the shoulders. Okay, from here, inhale. Exhale, going to your right, going to your right. Yes. Your own level is fine. In your gun, back to the center. Exhale to your left. Okay, this is kind of a challenge, right? It's all right. Inhale, deep stretch. Exhale to your right again. This is warm up. Now slowly inhale, coming up. Exhale, going to your left. Make sure your chest facing to the front. Don't collapse. One more round, inhale, coming up. Exhale, going to your right. You feel numbness, uh, some, some of you, it's all right, yeah? Can be direction start. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, going to the left. Now slowly back to the center. And then relax your finger. Slowly, gently, and palm facing down, press the chi down. You feel the numbness. Start release, or you feel the blood is flowing from the shoulders to the fingers, and then rotate your shoulders from the right, from the front to the back. Okay, for three, gently rotate from the front to the left, uh, back. Two, and one. Now reverse the directions from the back to the front, according to your level. No rushing. Always listen to your body, follow your own pace. If you can't do, can't do the three, do the one, okay? Okay, now slowly, face, come back to the mat. You come to the tabletop, okay? So from here, hands under your shoulders, knees under your waist. Okay, don't arch back, don't arch back. Try to scoop your belly in, squeeze your tummy. So your back is flat like a table. This is called tabletop. From here, we do some warm up. So for those who have knee issues, you can place a towel under your knee. Okay, from here, inhale, look to the front, squeeze the, squeeze the butt or squeeze the tummy. Inhale, raise your knee off the mat slightly, one inch or two inch, hold here. Squeeze your tummy, feel the tummy, struggling three, Two, one. Now slowly push your feet higher to the sky. And then try to push your upper body back. Your back is straight. Okay, for those who can't straight your both leg, you can slightly bend your both leg like me, heels up, but keep pushing your back. So your back is straight. So from here, you can walk your leg, bend one leg followed by another. Okay, you need to say bend one leg and then another leg is straight. The stretch and then switch. See, you can step your feet on the floor. One leg followed by another and then switch again. Okay, for those you have five difficulties, all right, you can rest wherever you have and just relax. 
Okay, from here, both heels up. Keep pushing your back. Okay, from here, raise your heels up. Exhale, try to press your feet down. You can't keep your legs bent. Okay, two more. Inhale up, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Keep your legs bent. Last one more. Inhale. Exhale, going down. And from here, push your body to the front. Relax your knees down. Sit all the way back. Child pose. This is called child pose. Try to push or sit your butt under your knee, under your ankle. Straighten your hands to the front. You relax your forehead. This is called resting pose. And you can, for those who have very stiff hamstring, you can place a below under the knee like this okay so it's all right yeah for those very have very stiff hamstring it's all right it's normal and you know the word oh no more three two one okay slowly bring your body up back to the tabletop okay tabletop here okay now slowly we do the cobra, meaning to say you can place, push your body front, and then relax your body down. Relax your body down. Your tummy on the floor. Okay, place your hands just next to your chest or under your shoulder. Okay, from here, level one is place your elbow on the floor. This is level one. Okay. So level two, for those who have experienced yoga practice before, you can place your palm under your shoulders here, okay? Level one, you can place your elbow down and then you stretch. You need to say you press your elbow, palm facing down, you bring your upper body up and then look to the front, just maintain here, okay? You will feel some arches on the kidney side, this is much as our kidney. So for those one challenge more, you can place your hands, palms under your shoulders, and then slowly bring your upper body up. But keep your elbow in, okay? So here, you will feel more. Five, four, three, two, one, relax your hands down. Okay, we do few times here, three times. Inhale, just slowly raise your upper body up according to your level, but don't open your shoulders. You need to say, grab your shoulders in. Oh, sorry, oh, grab your elbow in. Okay, so from here, open the chest. Three, two, one, relax down. Okay. Good. Okay, last one more time. Inhale, bring your body up. Okay, squeeze the butt if you can, or press your feet down more. Three, two, and one. Then relax here. Relax your upper body down. So from here, bring your palms under your shoulders. Tap your toes. Push your body up. This is called plank, okay? Like a straight line. How to do plank? Don't drop your hips. Squeeze your butt. When you squeeze your butt, actually your back, your, you feel very light on your upper body. Okay, good. From here, inhale, plank. Exhale, push your body forward and then relax your hips down. This is called upwards. Well done, okay? Try to push your shoulders down. In, in terms of you squeeze, don't squeeze your shoulders, push your shoulders down. Okay, from here, inhale, bring back to the plank. A big challenge, okay? So you play around your feet. Inhale, exhale, relax your hips down. Good. Well done, yes, yes. Inhale again, tap your toes, bring back to the plank. Squeeze the butt. You'll feel your tummy 
Okay. Last one more. Inhale, exhale, drop your hips down. Well done. Exhale, push back to the downward dog, or we call inverted V. So you find this time you most probably can place your feet on the floor already. Make sure you tuck your tummy, suck your tummy in. You feel your back is lighter. Okay, from here, inhale, exhale, relax your knees down, back to the resting posture. We call it baby pose, child pose. Relax your forehead on the floor. Straighten your hands to the front. For two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Now slowly push your body back to the tabletop. Good job. Okay, so from here, move backwards. Okay, now straighten your right hand forward. But don't arch back. Eh? When you arch back, actually you're losing your core strength. How do you tuck in? Suck in the core, squeeze your core. Okay, and then Straighten your right hand to the front and keep your left leg back. Okay? Balance yourself here for three, two, and one. Okay, from here, inhale, exhale, bend your elbow, bend your leg. Try to touch both, knee touch to the elbow. Round back. Okay, find your balance here, no rushing. Inhale again, straighten your hands and legs. Okay, we do two. Inhale, exhale, bend your leg, bend your elbow. Try to touch each other, round your back. Inhale, straighten your hands and the leg. One more time. Inhale, exhale, cross, knee touch to the elbow. Inhale again, straighten your hands and leg. And then relax your hands and legs down. Switch. Okay, no hurry, just follow your own pace. The slower we do, actually, you feel more. So now, straighten your left hand to the front and then kick your right leg back. Remember, scoop your belly in. From here, inhale, exhale, bend your hands and legs, round your back, knee touch to the elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. No hurry, take your time. Inhale, feel your body, listen to your body. Exhale, bend. Hands and legs touch each other. Now, inhale, straighten. And then slowly relax your hands and legs down. Good. Okay, slowly. Same thing, push your hip back, resting posture, child pose. Take two breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Last one more, inhale. Exhale. Okay, now come back to the tabletop. Okay, from here, tap your toes, push your hip up to the sky, and then we go back to the inverted V or downward dog. Okay, from here, try to lift your heels up, walk your legs to the, towards to your hand. You can keep your legs bent, okay, until you can fist step into the front, relax your upper body down. You can keep your legs bent or straighten, whichever you feel comfort. The most important thing is relax your upper body now. Now slowly, okay, walk your hands, fingers to the right side. Gently, not walking too fast. Okay, back to the center. Now slowly walk the fingers to the left side. And back to the center. 
Keep feeling your upper body is properly relaxing. Now from here, look on your tummy or your chest. Roll your upper body gently. With the bro by with the bro. Keep looking your chest. Roll your upper body up gently. Now slowly back to the standing posture. Okay, good job. <laughs> so you start sweat. Some of you start sweat. Okay, from here we go to the sun salutations. A. So stand in front of your mat. Okay, from here you can slightly open your leg according to your hip. Or you can step your feet together. Whichever you want. Okay, from here squeeze your butt. You feel your core is strong. You feel your tight is strong. Okay, from here inhale. Open your chest, raise your both hands up. So exhale, pulling your hands to the front. Like someone pulling your hands to the front, push your hips to the back. Okay, feel more on your hands. Keep, keep, keep until you can relax your hands. Okay, so for those who have very stiff hamstring, you can slightly bend your leg. Okay, so from here, inhale, look to the front. Exhale, bend your both leg. Walk your right leg back. This is low lunge. Okay, low lunge. Okay, from here, stay here. Three, good, two, and one. From here, keep yourself balanced. Raise your upper body up. Inhale, both hands forward, and slowly bring back your hands to the center. This is called high lunge. Okay, back leg strong, front leg strong. And then when you raise your both hand up, you relax your shoulders. Okay, this is called balancing, but at the same time, it's opening our hips muscle and hip joint. Three, two, one. So now from here, step your right feet on the floor, right toes facing to the front. And then keep your left leg bent. Now your body turn to the front. And then relax, reach your hands to the side. This is called warrior two. Okay? So keep your body center, not to the right or not to the left. Okay? Feel your legs, both legs are balanced. Good job. From here, inhale, we do reverse warrior. Exhale, relax your right hand on your right thigh. Turn your left palm to the sky. And then straight your left hand to the right side. So this time, feel your left stretch. Yes. Until your level, if possible, you can keep looking on your left palm. This is called reverse warrior. Three, two, one. Now slowly imagine someone pulling your left hand back to the warrior too. Good. Okay, from here, turn your right toes in and then back to the low lunge. Good. From here, reach your hands to the front and then relax your palm on the floor and try to step your left leg back to the plank. Remember, squeeze the butt. From here, relax your knees down. Push your body forward. Okay, slowly bend your elbow in. Don't open your elbow out. Open in and slowly, slowly use your elbow to grab your chest and place your chin on the floor, shoulders on the floor. Now from here, inhale, push your body forward and then come up all the way up, upwards. Straighten your hands gently. Good job. Remember, shoulders down. From here, tuck your toes, push your body to the tabletop, and then downward dog. Okay, it will to be, keep sucking your tummy. Now slowly inhale, raise your right leg up. Good, and then bend your right leg, slowly bring your right leg between your hands. If you can't step forward, you can use your hands to move your feet between your hands. So now we switch our 
side already. Okay, from here, low lunge. Keep your upper body straight to the front. From here, find your balance. Inhale, reach your hands forward and then bring your hands up. High lunge. So we switch our leg already. Okay, this time you might look at my back. Inhale, now slowly turn your right toes facing to the left toes, straight facing to the front, and then relax your hands to the side, warrior two. Remember? Yes, bring, make sure body is facing to the center. From here, inhale, exhale, relax your left hand on your left thigh. Turn your right palm and then straighten your right hand to the left side, reverse warrior. You try to look on your right palm. Three, two, one. Inhale, someone pulling your right hand and then back to the warrior two. Three, two, one. Turn your left toes in back to the high lunge. So bring your body facing to the front again. Good job. Inhale, exhale, reach your hands forward. And then slowly place your both palm on the floor. Same thing. Walk your right leg back. Plank, squeeze your butt. Exhale, push your hip higher. Inverter B or double dog. Okay. So keep your both legs bent. You can jump or walk forward. It's okay. Walk forward. Okay, now slowly inhale, look to the front. Exhale, try to pull your own lever. Now slowly inhale, raise your both hands up and bring your body back to the standing posture. Exhale, relax your hands down. So this is called sun stabilization. Slow, but really stretch our whole body. Okay, so are you all right? Start setting. Okay, we do one more, yeah. <laughs> one more, yeah. But this time a bit fast. Yes, very good job. I saw everybody. Okay, set. Good job. So same thing. Now from here, standing posture. Feet together or feet apart. So open your chest. Hands bring to the side. Inhale, raise your both hand up to the sky. Exhale, open your hands to the side. Bring your body forward, push your hip back, and then we fold your own level. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, bend your both leg. This time, walk your left leg back. Low lunge. Okay, from here, inhale, reach your hands forward, and to the sky, high lunge. Okay, inhale, exhale, turn your left toes forward. And then we go to the warrior two. Open your hands to the side. Inhale, exhale, relax your left palm on your left thigh. Bring your right hand to the left side. Reverse warrior. Okay, now inhale. Bring your body back to the warrior, two. Inhale, turn your left toes in. Go back to the high lunge. Feel your legs are strong. Inhale, exhale, reach your hands forward and place your palms on the floor. Walk your right leg back, plank, squeeze your butt. Exhale, push your hip higher. Downward dog or inverted V. Inhale. Leave your left leg up. Okay, your own level. Now slowly bend your right left leg. Step your left leg forward between your hands. Take your time. Okay, low lunge. Body straight. Inhale, reach your hands forward and bring your hands to the sky. High lunge. Inhale, exhale. Turn your right toes forward. Relax your hands to the side. We'll reach you. Well done. Inhale. Exhale. Relax your right palm to the right thigh. Turn your palm facing down. 
Straighten your left hands to the right side, reverse warrior. Very good. Inhale, back to the warrior two. Exhale, relax. Now inhale, turn your right toes in, go back to the high lunge. Inhale, exhale, reach your hands forward, place your palm on the floor. Walk your left leg back plank, squeeze the butt. Inhale, exhale, push your hip higher, step your feet on the floor, reverse V, inverted V or double dog. Now look to the front, bend your both legs, hop to the front or walk your legs between your hands, it's all right. And then fold. Inhale, straighten your hands, chest up. From here, inhale, bring your body up, hands up. Exhale, relax. Great, good job. <laughs> okay, now from here, so we add more, one set, we do another twisting posture. Now from here, inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, move forward. Take your time, you get used to do it. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, bend your both leg, walk your right leg back. Okay? So bring your right knee down. Lay your feet on the floor. Okay, so from here, slowly inhale, bring your upper body up. You can place your both hands on your left side. Okay, good. Try to open your left side to the left side. Feel your right hip joint. Okay, from here, you can relax your upper body. Inhale, exhale. Try to sit, sink down more. Okay, open your left thigh to the left side. You sit more, you feel more on your right hip. It's fine. If you find difficulty, you can place your below, press your below, or you can place your hands on the floor. Fingertips on the floor. Okay, you here three, two, and one. Okay, slowly bring back your body to the center, okay? Or keep pressing your hands on the right knee, a left knee, good. From here, okay, inhale, bring your hands up. So keep feel more on your hip joint. So exhale, reach your hands forward. Okay, so now right palm on the on the floor. Now turn your body to the left side. And then from here, after turning your body to the left side, you bring your left hands up. So this is more on twisting. And try to make sure you push your shoulders in, twisting more. Try to feel your chest actually is facing to the left side. And then you can place your palm on your left knee, or you can reach your hands higher up to the ceiling. Okay, three, two, one. Relax your hands back to the floor. Up your right toes. Walk your, straighten your right leg. Walk your left leg back, plank. Now from here, push your body up. Downward dog or inverted beam. Okay, raise your right leg up all the way. From here, bend your right leg and then push your body forward and try to stand your right leg between your hands. Okay, we switch leg already. Okay, same thing. Now relax your left knee on the floor. Okay, relax your feet on the floor. Keep your chest up. From here, inhale, bring your body center. And then you can place your hands, both hands on your right thigh. This time, try to open your right thigh to the right side. Feel more. And then feel your left hip joint. From here, 
Beginner, you can keep your position here. For those one more challenge, you can inhale, exhale, open your right thigh more, and then you try to sit, sink down more. Okay, when you sink down more, you feel more on your left hip joint. Three, two, one. Now slowly bring your body back to the center. Bring your hands up. Inhale, exhale, reach your hands forward, 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 and then place your palm on the floor. So now you can feel, yeah, your palm on the floor. Okay, from here, keep your left palm on the floor. Okay, now slowly relax your right hand and then twist your body to the right side. Okay, chest, try to open your chest facing to the right side. And then from here, level one, place your palm on the right thigh. Level two, you can reach your hands up. More twists. Okay, three, two, one. Now slowly relax your right palm on the floor. Okay, tap your left toes. Straighten your left leg. From here, walk your right leg back to the plank. Squeeze here, squeeze the butt. Three, two, and one. Push your hip higher back to the downward dog or inverted grip. Okay? You can bend your legs if you want to. Feel your hamstring is really stiff, it's all right. But keep pushing your back, okay? Scoop your belly in, you feel your upper body is lighter. From here, bend your both legs. Hold forward or walk your legs forward. Okay. Inhale, exhale, full fold. Inhale, straighten your hands. Bring your body up. Bring your hands up. Yes, reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, relax your hands down. Great. Okay, good job. So we almost there, almost there, <laughs> okay. So from here, now you try to sit, gently bend your both legs, sit on the floor, okay. So from here, I facing front first, okay. For well, guys, you have stiff on your hips, it's normal. Okay, try to bring your feet together, okay. Some people you find your legs is lifting higher. It's all right, yeah? All right, yeah? So try to use your hands to grab your both feet. And then from here, inhale, exhale, relax. Inhale, exhale, relax. Try to feel your leg actually is relaxed more and relax your both knee, your both leg on the floor. So for those are really, really flexible, so you find your both feet is on the floor, okay? Make sure you step your both feet together. So you activate our calf muscle and inner thigh. So use your hand to grab your both feet. Okay, from here, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, try to just bend your elbow in, not out. Bend your elbow in, like someone pulling your chin forward. Okay, so your back is straight. Don't roll back. Okay, so imagine sit tall, like someone pulling your chin to the front. Now you feel more on your lower back until your butt, until your inner thigh. Okay, pull your chin forward, forward, and lower down. Back is straight. If your level is here, just fine. So elbow don't move. Don't open up, just bring your elbow in. Use your elbow, grab your chest. Okay, hold here. So focus on the inner tight stretching. Okay, so don't push too hard according your level. If your level is here, it's fine. Okay, because some people, they are feel very stiff on the hip joint. So long you feel the muscle is stretching, that's fine. So for those very flexible, you just go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Okay, keep your elbow in. Five, four, three, 
two, one. From here, imagine someone pull your chin up, 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 slowly back to the center. Okay, last one more. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, bend your elbow in, pull your chin forward. Slowly, lower down your body without round back. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, pull your chin up. Slowly bring your body up back to the center gently. Okay, good job. Okay, you can see. We do this is called butterfly, yeah? So you can butterfly your, your legs a bit. Okay, this time you can bring your legs, both feet far from your body. Okay, so this time you won't bite your knee on the floor already. So same thing, grab your both feet with your both palm. Okay, keep pressing both feet together. Okay, this time we rub our back, we do the third pose. Okay, now inhale. Exhale, push your belly in. Push your belly in. Now this time you bend your elbow out. Okay, keep looking your tummy. Round back, round back, round back. Imagine your crown want to touch your both feet. Okay, this time it's really round our back, but relax the shoulders. This time it's more on the hamstring. Okay, so if your level is here, it's fine. Just relax your head, shoulders. Keep sucking your tummy in. Like someone pull, pulling, push the leader towards to your tummy. Okay, for those are practical, you can try. Keep looking on the chest. Try the crowd touching to the feet. It's all right, yeah? Whatever level you are in is good. Five, four, three, Two and one. Now slowly keep roll your body up gently, looking your tummy or your chest. And straighten your hands gently. Wow, okay, good. We are really lengthening and give our spine a natural curve. Okay, one more time. Inhale, exhale. Keep lower down your head, looking on the tummy. Push your tummy in, out. Keep pressing your feet together. Open your elbow to the side. Keep your back round. Remember, relax your shoulders and the neck. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll your body up gently. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so some people you feel a bit sore on your lower back or middle back is good, eh? Because we are lengthening our spine. From here, try to straighten, oh, sorry, close your legs together. Okay, we do full pose, seated pose. Okay, so now try to chest touching to your thigh. You try your best to grab Definitely, you can grab your, your feet, okay? So from here, level one, okay? You can slowly walk your legs forward or you keep moving your hip back. But keep try to your, your chest is touching to your thigh. You're moving your hip to the back, okay? So for those are flexible, you can move your legs until straighten your legs. But well, move your hips until you straighten your legs. For those have very stiff on your hamstring, whatever you feel here already is your limit is okay. Okay, it's okay. So if possible, you can inhale, exhale, keep moving your hips back. So until whatever level you are here, and then you relax your sh uh, shoulders, and inhale, exhale, relax, that's it. So for those are really, really, really flexible, so you 
you are can relax your forehead on your calf on your uh, uh, leg on your shin. Okay, so your back is really relax here. Yeah? Don't tense your shoulders. Okay, inhale, exhale, relax more until your own level. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly straighten your hands. Straighten your hands. Okay, now slowly relax your hands and then walk your hands near to your body. Bring your body back to the L shape. Ooh. Okay, so now bend your right leg. Step your right leg outside of your left knee. Yes. So from here, bring your right hand back and then bend your left elbow bring your left elbow outside of your right knee okay beginner bend hand here flat your left feet okay bring your chest up sit tall that's it so for those you want more feelings you can inhale exhale please use your left arm push towards to your right knee and then push over and then try to turn your chest facing to the right side. Back here, level three, you can inhale, exhale, twisting more, look on your right shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring your back, your, your chest to the front and back to the center. Relax your hands and legs. Okay, now straighten your right leg and your both leg. Step your left feet outside of your right knee. Okay, relax your left palm at the back. Bend your right elbow, cross over. Okay, your right elbow pushing to the left. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, you twist your body. Use your elbow to twist your. Uh, push your left knee. So try to be facing your chest to the left side. One more chest. Inhale, exhale. Twist more. You can look on your left shoulders. Three, two, and one. Back to the center. And then relax your hands and legs forward. Okay. So from here. You try to straighten your legs to the front and then inhale, bring your hands up. We're almost there. Big L. So from here, flat your feet. Yeah, you feel more. Activate whole legs. From here, inhale, exhale. So round your back, scoop your belly in, round your back like a big C. Now slowly bring your hands forward. Keep looking on your chest or your tummy and roll yourself down on the mat gently, okay? Keep looking your chest or your tummy. Relax your upper body down on the mat. Ah, okay? And then from here, so you relax your body and then slowly bring your hands to the side of your body, palms facing up. So we are resting already. So you relax your legs, toes pointing to the side. Close your eyes gently. Relax your forehead. Relax your face muscle. Relax your shoulders, your hands, your fingers. Relax your hips, your legs, and your toes. Relax and breathe in and out gently. 
Feel your body are properly stretching and lengthening through the entire workout just now. Feel your body is really feel great. And totally relax here. Inhale. Exhale, relax more. And from here, slowly move your fingers, feel your fingers, move your toes, feel your toes, close your legs together and slowly straighten your hands back to your ears, give yourself a big, big stretch like you wake up in the morning. And then relax your body down. So from here, bend your left leg. And then slowly turn your body to the right side. When you are ready, use your left palm. Push yourself up back to the sitting posture. So from here, we end our yoga practice by three deep, deep breath in and breath out. So from here, inhale, raise our both hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, turn your palm facing down, press the chin down. Two more breaths, inhale, open your hands and chest up. Exhale, relax your both palm down. Last one more breath, inhale. Exhale. Thank you very much. Congratulations to complete this workout and one step closer to have better health. And I would like to share, uh, say thank you and welcome to share these sections, uh, the videos to your friends and family to help more people to be fitter, healthier and stronger. So thank you, Juness Malaysia. <laughs> thank you very much.